ready to take the next step of making our fiberglass mold. For that, we need to go ahead and tape this guy up. Let's get some masking tape and let's get to taping. Okay, so I actually got some ordinary masking tape that I got from Walmart. Man, this thing is $3.95, I think, from Walmart. And it's actually going to do the job because our prep is done right. We actually did a test yesterday. We stuck a piece of tape on here to see if it actually sticked after we did our prep. So today we're going to mask the whole door off because we need to make a fiberglass mold because we need to put three tens, two tweeters, and one horn on each door. And we need to be able to protect it from any unwanted fiberglass that gets anywhere while we're making our fiberglass mold. This tape is probably going to be on this door panel for just a few hours. We just need it to do what we need to do and make that fiberglass mold. The weather is pretty hot outside, so today it is a very perfect day to make some fiberglass molds. Now your boy's going to have to get some fiberglass mat. I'm going to need to cut out enough to be able to cover the door. We're going to fold this thing in half. And then we are actually just going to cut it down the middle so we can get nothing but big pieces, guys. I like big pieces because uh, it's that many less times we have to reach for a small piece, put some fiberglass resin on it, and tap it down. So the bigger the piece and actually the stronger it can actually get. So look, this one right here can actually cover this whole thing up right there. Look at that. As I'm actually cutting this fiberglass mat, I'm going to pop up my new Instagram that I am going to be using. It's actually, I've been had this Instagram, but I haven't used it like that. But this Instagram right here is going to let you know every time we drop a video. I cut little slits so the fiberglass mat can actually sit down a little bit better. You can cut strips and do it little by little. But I like these bigger pieces and I already know that once the fiberglass resin gets laid down on top of this mat, man, this thing is going to sit. So we are actually going to cut this a little bit out. You see it? Bam. That's going to look pretty good. All that extra. Then we're going to put this one a little bit more closer to the edge. Because like I said, I like the edges to be solid. I have fiberglass mat for days. These are all extra little pieces that I've had. Uh, these little extra pieces are actually going to come in handy right now because the pieces that I just got done cutting out, um, those are rather larger pieces. And these are the ones that we're going to use to connect all the pieces together and make it one solid fiberglass mold, guys. Such a hot and beautiful day out today. It's going to be so perfect for this fiberglassing that we're going to do. This is Car Audio in the comfort of your backyard if you want to go ahead and give it a shot man this is the place to be man so subscribe to the channel and definitely like this video if i'm giving you good knowledge so you can go ahead and give it a shot yourself man let's do this okay we are finally outside we have my son back there say what's up man he said he wanted to watch some fiberglass so we're going to teach him a little bit i'm going to be using the fiberglass resin that i have in that gatorade bottle right there i have some acetone I have my measuring cup with a paintbrush ready to rock and roll. I got some masking tape just in case of anything. And I have my colorful stir sticks that I got the other day. Look at this. this is my secret MEKP right here. It's got a booster and some other little chemicals in it that's actually going to help boost up the hardening and make sure that it actually reacts pretty good. This is the good stuff right here. So this is the measuring cup that we'll be using to measure how much MEKP I will be using on my fiberglass resin that I got here. You have to use a certain amount of ratio of the MEKP in order to make sure that this guy reacts and gets hard pretty good. I am going to put the fiberglass resin up to 20 ounces and then I don't know if you guys can see the numbers right here. It goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Your boy is actually just going to go a little bit right at the line to five because it is so hot and this is what fiberglass loves um it loves to react in the heat and the serious serious heat and it's so hot right now it's probably like almost like 100 degrees so the five should be good enough ratio in order for us to play with this fiberglass mat and make sure that we cover the whole door and we don't waste the full cup of fiberglass resin so now what do you rate his stick he just made it show him oh no he's already hitting the door panel all right all right that's enough that's enough you're crazy guy you're crazy so let's go ahead and pour this guy I'm gonna try to go to the 24 man go big or go home right so here i have my measuring cup once again let's put it right there and we are just gonna fill it right up to the oh that's way too much 
That would react in like seconds. It is 1.37 p.m. right now, Eastern time. After I dump this in here, I am gonna see how long it takes for these doors to actually react. Make sure you stir this really good. You see how it went from a uh, purple tone to now it's a dark brown tone. Fiberglass resin is actually mixed. I actually like to let it sit for like two minutes just so it, you know it all could grab pretty good. That is a good tip and a trick right there. Let it just sit for like almost like two minutes. Now prepare yourself because you're about to lay some fiberglass mat on this door panel to get this badass mold so we can go ahead and build us some really clean door panels with some speaker rings for some tweeters as well too man. Let's do it. So that was one cup of fiberglass resin that we went ahead and used. We were pretty much able to get our first base down of the fiberglass mold. Um, it's looking pretty good, but it actually needs a little bit more. One more, probably three quarters of a cup, and we'll be able to get everything done and everything molded that we need for this first store panel. you want this mold is going to come out a1 and once i actually put it in the sun right now man that thing's going to get hardened up remember the time that we actually got started on we we're going to see what time it actually gets hard door panels are actually in the direct sun it's 241 i think probably by like four o'clock these door panels should be nice and hard two hours later so the time is exactly 359 and let's see oh yeah look you hear it that is one door panel and it is like a rock guys. Awesome, awesome. So this door panel we can say is 97% cured. Well, our fiberglass mold, it is curing right now. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and finish editing this video. So the fiberglass mold is actually curing right now. Man, check this video out if you missed yesterday's prepping to get to the stage. Man, subscribe to the channel because tomorrow, man, we are gonna cut and shape these guys out, man. Stay tuned, you do not wanna miss if you wanna learn how to build some fiberglass door panels. Let's get it.